Cade, what do you think about NBA 2K23 so far? I like it. I like the animations. What are the biggest differences? And yeah, I like the, the graphics too. I feel like the faces look a little more clear, look more realistic. So it's cool. I like the game so far. Since we talked to you last, you got scanned in NBA 2K22. Yeah. What has your life been like, and what is it like kind of seeing yourself in the video game every single day? Yeah, it's crazy. I've always tried to like dream of being in the game, but yeah. now. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. The beautiful, dramatic setting here in Salt Lake City, Utah becomes apparent when you get a look at the aerial shot of the surroundings. Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happy. This is Kevin Harlan, and we've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. And the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. Hey, Dave. Good evening to you, Kevin. Donovan Mitchell is precocious beyond his years. He says, I lead a lot using my voice. It's natural for me. And Coach Quinn Snyder said, the way Donovan carries himself is infectious. There's an innocence to the way he plays. He's not showboating, he's just smiling. He loves to compete. Guys? I love his personality. That was a great story, Dave, thank you. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Friday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Then on Sunday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. At the guard spots, it's Curry and Thompson. Kaminga out there with James Wiseman. And it's Hughes in at the small forward position. And for Utah... Achua is out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's Mitchell. Then it's Q. Well, Smitty, opening day is upon us. You excited for the new season? I am, Kevin. First of all, you love seeing the new rookie class, how they fit in. Second, a lot of these teams with a lot of trades and moving parts. And some of these franchises that have acquired new coaches. Now here's Curry. And the pass to Kaminga. Little turnaround. It's hauled in by Harris. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. And that one's good. James. <laughs> this is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the neck. Right side curve. Passes to Hughes. And it's Kaminga, top of the key. Curry, good! Sometimes that shot feels like the equivalent of a layup, but it's three points for Curry instead of two. Mitchell passes to James. Up top, Achua. Mitchell outside. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it out to James. Shoots over Curry. James, no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Here's Kaminga. Doesn't go for him. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Here matched up against the Golden State Warriors is how they're going to tip off the new season. And, and this, the first of three games these two teams will play against one another this season. Now here's Wiseman. Now here's Curry. Back to Wiseman. And finished off by Wiseman. Wiseman. The passing ability of Steph Curry. Not just a shooter. He's skilled at spotting open guys. Mitchell outside. Wiseman with the rebound. That was excellent contest. Preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Down low. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. 
Harris passes to Achua, and he gets it to go. This is where Tobias has really improved, keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. One shot. Achua, shooting one. That one misses for Achua. The Warriors have gone two for four from the field so far today. Here's Hughes. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. First one falls for. And so he makes both from the line. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Pass to Achua. Warriors with the rebound. Feeds it to Kaminga. Thompson outside. Now here's Wiseman. Defense right on him. Here's Curry with the three. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And Smitty, he's not that flashy about it, but Curry remains one of the elite ball handlers of all time. Stephen Curry is efficient on how he uses his dribble. Great composure when pressured in traffic, and sometimes he will show off those skills. Now here's James, following the miss by Jonathan Kaminga. Harris kicks to Achua. Kicks it out to James. Shot clock at six. Driving in. The Warriors pull it in. Wiseman's got four rebounds now tonight. And they bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Nice ball movement by Utah. James finds Achua. Harris outside. Sinks that one from the ball. High percentage look for Harris. He becomes more and more efficient offensively. Curry passes to Hughes. Back to Curry. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Curry gets the bucket. Curry, the assist. Clay Thompson. And so James will bring it up for Utah. Six-point game. Launches a three. Hits the three-point bomb. James has got five points so far. Not too much respect shown to him by the defender. James against Curry. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Weitzman. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Just doing the job on the backboard. And slam dunk by Harris. Nice effort by Harris, attacking, being aggressive around the rim. Thompson outside. The pass to Wiseman. And no good. The Jazz have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Stolen by Thompson. To the middle. 
and finished up Game. by Wiseman. Wiseman. When you played alongside as many superstars as Clay has, you're conditioned to make sure others are fed. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. Well, something, Greg, we can't take for granted. It's nice just to see Clay Thompson out on the floor. No doubt, Kevin. You know, the NBA is just a better league with a healthy Clay Thompson. It makes this team more fun to watch. Good for humor and one incredible performance a year. Here's Achua. O'Neal kicks to Green. Nance outside, back to Graham. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Here's McLaughlin, covered by a Achua. And finished off by Wiseman. And just caught the D there by surprise. Love when Wiseman goes for the big air on the alley-oop. Graham kicks to Burks. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Warriors leading by three. Zeller passes to McLaughlin. Pocket six. And he uses the glass on the way. And the Warriors lead by five. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Now, here's Burks. He's covered by Wiseman. Passes it to O'Neal. Back to Nance. The eight-footer. And there it is for him. And this lead is in good shape when you talk about guys like Nance. The consummate role player does everything that's asked of him. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Struth. Another three for Golden State. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now, Burks. Pastor O'Neill. Nance against Zeller. Nance dishes to Burks. A three-pointer off the mark. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Moody, and it's Golden State with another. They saw what the defense was willing to give up, and they seized that opportunity. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Burks finds Graham. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Right wing. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Here's McLaughlin. Here's Zeller. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Let's take a moment to look at the 2K leaderboard and see last year's high-scoring teams. In third, the Warriors. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and the points really started to pile up. Utah, and the Jazz call time here. And as fans and broadcasters were not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. And the Jazz making a change here. Rose is checked in. And so it's Utah here with the ball. Trailing here by eight. Graham kicks to Rose. And there's the pass to Nance. And here is Graham. And the layup is good. Graham's got his second basket of the game. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Passes it to Moody. And there's the foul. And go on Moses Moody. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Jazz trail by six. Nance passes to Burks. He feeds it to O'Neal. And Wiseman sends it back. And on a per-minute basis, Wiseman already gets a lot of blocks, and his defensive awareness will only improve with time. 
Hands with it. Now here's Graham. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off an assist. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. That free throw good from Nance. Warriors leading by three. Here's McLaughlin. That one falls. Jordan McLaughlin. One thirty-one left in the first quarter. Rose dishes to O'Neal. Pass to Rose. Six to shoot. The shot, no good. The Warriors go the other way. Here's Moody. No good that time. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Burks. It's rebounded by McLaughlin. Golden State's gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. Wasted no time on that one. And now a seven-point Warrior lead. Rose scanning the floor. Nance passes to Rose. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Derrick Rose inside is a treat to watch because watch how high he gets off the floor. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Here's McLaughlin. The rebound by the Jams. Rose passes to Graham. Outside Rose. From deep. That shot off. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And the former league MVP, Derrick Rose, now the Sage veteran helping set the tone for this team. We know what we have to do, and we know when we get out there that it's one goal, and that's to go out there and win the game by any means. We know that we play well together. We just got to come out aggressive. And Rose, a great so respected around the NBA. A great teammate. And, you know, not the most outspoken by nature, but so comfortable in his own skin. His teammates all ears when he does speak up. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Setting the floor for the Warriors. We've got Moody. Zeller is out there with Kaminga. Then it's Curry. And it's Drews in at the three spot. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Clay Thompson has lost two prime years to a torn ACL and then a ruptured Achilles. He says so many athletes have been through this. It's just a new set of challenges. With my style of play, I feel I can be effective till my late 30s. I plan on being the all NBA player I was and won't settle for anything less. Guys, that will be a great comfort to this team. Indeed, and who's gonna doubt it? I love his attitude, undaunted. David, thank you. Here is Rose, following the basket by Stephen Curry. 
outside Rhodes. Utah needs to get off a shot here. Graham from outside. His second miss, now two of four on the game. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Here's Zeller. And the Warriors tack on two more. Zeller. And so it's Rose bringing it up for Utah. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. Nance finds Graham. Rose against Zeller. Just five to shoot. That's good, and the Warrior lead is kept down to nine in the bucket from Derrick Rose. It's hard to try to stop D. Rose when he's committed to scoring. Get out of his way. And, Kevin, one thing you have to respect about Derrick Rose is that he's never stopped evolving. He's constantly adapting his game to best fit what his team needs. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. When you think about how Derrick Rose has changed Greg as a player, you see some of that in almost every facet of his game. And, yeah, over the years, he's tuned his shooting and play style in lots of little ways. But what hasn't changed is his talent for setting guys up. He's got a great eye for when and where to drop the dime. Here's Mitchell following the basket by Jonathan Kaminga. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. All right, a chance to check out the numbers for Stephen Curry. He's coming off an excellent season. He put up about 27 points per game last season. Seven assists and four rebounds. Just a fantastic score off the bench. Always a factor in every game he plays. What I love is he heats up quick because when you're on the second unit, you have no time to mess around. Hits it from three-point range. There it is. His first make from beyond the arc in the second quarter. His third of the game. James kicks to Mitchell. Drops in the layup for two. Just look at the way Mitchell's built. The strength in the upper body. Curry against James. Thompson outside. Makes it off the glass. Thompson's got the lead up to 14 now for the Warriors. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Now here is Harris. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. It's Thompson off the drive. No good there. The Jazz go the other way with it. They host the Clippers after this game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Now Harris. He's got six. And he goes right over Jonathan Kaminga and slams it down. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular, and he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. Now, here's Thompson. Pass to Hughes. Hooked away. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his sixth rebound on the night. On the wing, Mitchell. Over Hughes. That one a little long. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Thompson right side. Kicks it to Kirk. Here's Hughes. And that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. The 2K leaderboard provides us now with this list of last season's assist leaders. Fifth is Stephen Curry. Very few guys passed the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. Curry! Curry! 
Here's Curry. He's got 13. The three. And the Warriors miss again. Jazz trail by 10. Driving to the basket. And there's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. They could use a bucket. A rebound by the Jams. Harris has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. And we all know basketball is a game of runs, but uh, Steve, why can it so often seesaw like that? One minute, a team is ice cold. The next, they can't miss. I think confidence is such a big part of the game. Also, rhythm. When you see shots fall, it snowballs. On the other hand, when you can't take the lid off of it, that confidence can go another direction. Utah calls timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout. So both teams making some changes here. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Utah. It's a 10-point game. He kicks it to Harris. He dishes it to Burks. James, the pass to Achua. Lock at six. Here's Mitchell trying to get open as Thompson. And it's Mitchell missing. Warriors leading by 10. And here is Hughes. Wiseman with the ball. No good, and he's three of six from the floor. The pass to Burks. Back to Harris. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Wiseman's got rebound number five here tonight. Thompson with the bucket. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Mitchell passes to Achua. Here's McLaughlin. It's hauled in by Achua. Jazz trail by 13. Passes it to Burks. Harris outside. Buries it from three-point range. Harris has got 11 points. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. McLaughlin, the pass to Thompson. Here's Hughes. Back to Thompson. Beyond the arc. Utah with the rebound. To the inside. Achua kicks to James. Harris looking it over to the paint. Achua. The dunk by Achua. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Pass to Wiseman. Now here's Zeller. Pass to Thompson. Rebound by Mitchell. Jazz trail by eight. Got a piece of it. Wiseman with the ball. Picked up by Harris. McLaughlin, the pass to Thompson. The pass to Hughes. Three-pointer. That shot misses. The Jazz go the other way with it. Pass to Mitchell. There's a minute 47 left to play. Oh! I got a feeling Donovan Mitchell will be watching this highlight over and over and over. Timeout called the Warriors. And one thing about Donovan Mitchell, Steve, he is always learning, always evolving. 
Yes, he is, Kevin. The power spin. Seeks advice from other star players. And he's not afraid to get out of his comfort zone. He has ambition for greatness. Here's what Utah's going with right now. Nance comes in for Tobias Harris. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. Then for the Warriors, Cruz is checked in. Moody subbed in for Clay Thompson. Oh, nice job by Wiseman to get some contact while in the act. Heady play. The Warriors have had two chances at the line already, making them both. At the line for two. First free throw is good. And you got to respect how quickly Wiseman has adapted to big league play. He hit the ground running and has not looked back. Always growing as a player. And he makes both free throws. 129 left to play in the first half. Graham dishes to Burks. Achua kicks to Burks. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's McLaughlin. And he drives in. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second team foul. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting for Golden State. Jordan McLaughlin taking two shots. First one falls. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Always going up for the LUP here. But don't play it you up. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Now, here's Moody. Kicks it to Weisman. Down to five on the shot clock. McLaughlin, the pass to Wiseman. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. 17 seconds left here in the second. Now Burks. Over to the left wing. A baseline J. That one doesn't go. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. Some great engagement defensively. What's happening that's good at that end of the floor? I think they're just playing hard, rotating, playing for each other, and they've done a better job of avoiding fouls and just playing here. Steve, thanks for your time. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had 13 points and two assists. 
Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? They built this lead from the perimeter. We know they have shooters to do it. We know sometimes they play outside in. This is one of those games that's going on by the script. Impressive performance. And Kenny, let's get your input on the Jazz. Uh, Ernie, that's a lackluster performance. Lackluster effort. I mean, they didn't look sharp running their sets. They weren't cutting. They weren't hustling. Jack, if you played in this era, you'd have it 50 because guys didn't want to give the effort. Join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Curry has been sensational. And, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Jazz trail by eight. We've got Q. Harris is out there with the chew up. And it's Mitchell. That's the group right now for Utah. Nice pass. Run into the rock perfectly for the layup. That's now eight points for Precious Achua. Pass to Wiseman. Back to Curry. Moves back up. And Wiseman puts it in. Wiseman. Wiseman's got 12. You just can't teach size and length, and Wiseman beats everyone to the ball for that second chance opportunity. Here's James, and Wiseman sends it back. Pass to Kaminga. And here's Wiseman. Over James. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth, he is six for nine on the stat sheet. Now listen, we know Wiseman has a nice outside game, but inside, there aren't too many guys who can match up with him physically. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Jazz trail by eight. James outside. The dish to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. The offensive rebound. The Warriors have gone two or four here to start the second half. Inside. Outside for Curry. Thompson outside. Now the pass to Wiseman. Shoots over at Chua. Wiseman no good. No one on him. He committed to fading away. Probably could have taken more time with that shot. James finds Harris. To the paint. Here's a Chua. It's rebounded by Golden State. Wiseman's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Kaminga the pass to Hughes. Thompson with it. Curry outside. Doesn't go that time. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. Now here is Harris. 13 points in the game. And James Wiseman picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. O'Neal's check in for the Jazz. Rose comes in for James. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. He's covered by Wiseman. Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Thompson outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Jazz trail by 10. Outside Rose. He kicks it to Mitchell. To the middle, Harris. 
Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Harris has got four points in the quarter. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Timeout called the Warriors. Well, he wasn't a burger chain All-American or a one-and-done college star, but Donovan Mitchell's rapid emergence in the NBA has caught many by surprise. You know, G.A., the first rookie ever to lead a playoff team in scoring. He was handed the keys right away, but he's not satisfied. He still wants more. Now here's Curry, 13 points in the game. Thompson outside. Rose against Curry. Six on the shot clock. Kept alive. Here's Wiseman. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Mitchell outside. Nailed from three-point land. Mitchell's got seven. Wasting no time. Donovan is never afraid to fire. Mitchell against Thompson. It's Curry outside. Rebound, Utah. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here. This Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. So it'll be Derrick Rose shooting. That's his first. They get Stephen Curry. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. Yeah, but I also like the balance because they're doing a great job of getting inside and converting around the rim. I, I really like their aggressiveness. A fan favorite in this league. Rose's hard work and perseverance through injuries speaks volumes. Now here's Wiseman. He's guarded closely. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. And the Warriors making a change here. Moody's checked in. Mitchell outside. And it's off from three-point range. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. This is it to Moody. Outside for Curry. Pocket six. Pass to Kaminga. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Here's Mitchell driving inside. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Warriors leading by four. Pass to Moody. This is to Kaminga. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. That one on Harris. Sky high. One of his advantages as an undersized four. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. A different look for Utah. Nance comes in for Tobias Harris. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Mitchell. Find the lanes. Find the lane. One shot. On the free throw, no good. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Rose the pass to O'Neal. And here's Rose. He's got seven. Nance down low. He's covered by Zeller. Nance, no good. Warriors leading by six. Here's McLaughlin. He has six. Passes it to Zeller. The feed to Kaminga. Pass to Moody. Fires for three. No good that time. And it's Utah the other way. Nice ball movement by Utah. 
Graham with the ball. Had a piece of it. Here's McLaughlin. Graham defending. Utah with the rebound. And Rose, wide open. He shoots. Hands it from downtown. Rose has got 10. Sometimes Derrick Rose is usually hit or miss. But when he's on, look out. Here's McLaughlin. Here's Kaminga. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Outside Rose. Knocked away. Here's Struess. An easy two points on the layup. He has seven. <laughs> really good ball movement there in transition. Now here's Rose. Ten points for him. Here's Nance, and the jam by Larry Nance. Derrick Rose being aggressive off the pick and roll, doing a nice job of coming off screens and finding his teammates. McLaughlin, the pass to Zeller. Here's Struess. He's got seven. Here's Kuminga. And it's Zeller shining it down. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Achua, he's checked in for the Jazz. Burks comes in for Rose. Alec Burks. And so Graham will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Trailing by five. Good work there as it goes. Graham's got his third basket of the night. The Warriors shooting reasonably well, 45%. Looking to get back on track here. Nance with some nice D. Utah has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Birch, the pass to Nance. Takes the 13-footer. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's McLaughlin, covered by Nance. McLaughlin, no good. Jazz trail by three. Nance passes to Burks. Warriors with the rebound. Moody's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Struess. And the Warriors miss again. Utah is shooting around 44% in this third quarter. And Nance kicks to Green. Achua with it. He's against Zeller. Achua, no good. Warriors leading by three. One fifty-three left to play in the third. Here's Zeller. Graham with the rebound. Utah with the ball. Zeller up top. Graham defending. Kaminga the pass to McLaughlin. And there's the pass to Struth. It's stolen by Nance. And here's the break. And the dunk by Graham. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They gotta be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. 
James checked in for Larry Nance. Eisman's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Jordan McLaughlin. Here's Struce. He has seven. Shot clock at five. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Burks with the steal. A floater. O'Neal misses. The Warriors lead it. Passes to Wiseman. To end the drought. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the sheer size of Wiseman is hard to deal with inside, forcing the defense to compromise with the foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And he was 73% from the line a season ago, an average number in that regard. And the first one at the line is good. Harris has checked in for Royce O'Neal. And the Warriors also making a change. Curry's checked in. And both free throws good for Wiseman. Jazz trail by three. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Graham. The Warriors pull it in. They've led by as many as 14 points. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Pass to Harris. Kicks it out to James. It'll count. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. The Warriors on top, up by three. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter, next. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure, bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. At the guard spots, it's Curry and Thompson. Wiseman's out there with Kaminga. And it's Hughes in at the three. Thompson misses. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Utah. Donovan Mitchell! Burks against Thompson. Burks dishes to Harris. And the call will be against Harris. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's just being out of sync and at the worst time, costly. Warriors leading by three. Now Thompson. Here's Curry with the three. Cranes the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. It's going to go on Alec Burks. And something we've seen in the last few years, boxing ones thrown at Curry, although they've had mixed success. One shot. That's good from Stephen Curry. And amazing to even consider using a box and one in the NBA, isn't it, Greg? But Curry does that with his offense to the teams that defend him. Kevin, I, I agree. And it, it didn't work well in the 2019 finals. Curry has 
started to adjust to that look. Much harder to use when Curry has other options on offense. Here's Wiseman following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Wiseman. Burks pulls it in. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Jazz. It's a five-point game. Now the Warriors moving it up. Pass to Wiseman. It's Curry outside. And another field goal in this total. Make it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. Had that one in his sights, too. His fifth triple of the game, second this half. Here's Mitchell. That shot off. Curry was a nice D. Kaminga kicks to Curry. They double-team Curry. Poked loose and stolen by James. The pass to Burks. Mitchell outside. Back to Burks. Five on the clock. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Weisman's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. The shot by Hughes, no good. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken. Yet this team still continues to hold the lead. Burks finds Harris. Mitchell wide open. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got five assists tonight. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Passes it to Kerr. Launches it. Wow, came this close to a four-point point. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Very assertive by Steph Curry. Takes the foul and still gets the shot up. And along with terrific production, Harris is an interesting team leader. Very positive in his approach. Three shots. Three shots. And he's good on the first of three. And Greg, Harris has grown more vocal as his comfort level on the team has risen. And Kevin, he's always had it in him. Now that he's a veteran, he's earned the right. He always seems to bring the guys together. Good on the second free throw. When you think of Curry, his shooting is what comes to mind always. Specifically, how quick his release is. And he nails the third. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. James, the pass to Achua. He dishes it to Mitchell. And that one, good. 14 points for Donovan Mitchell. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. And he lays in the alley -oop. And the Warriors lead by eight. And how about the night from Wiseman? There's no stopping this fella. Once he gets rolling, good luck slowing him down. Now here's James. Kicks it to Harris. Tries from 10. Wiseman with the rebound. Weisman's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Kaminga, rebound Utah. Achua's got eight rebounds in this game. Guarded by Curtis. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Curry. They get Stephen Curry. Second team foul. At the line for Utah. Number 30. At the line for two. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Well, pr probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. He 
hits the second from the line. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Thompson outside. Curry against Harris. They double team Curry. And here is Hughes. Just three to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Thompson for three. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Guarded by Curry. Pass to Achua. For three, Mitchell. Weisman with the rebound. Weisman to the inside. Kaminga kicks to Curry. Connects from three-point range. Curry. Curry's got 13 points in the second half. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. They get it again. Here's Harris. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. A tremendous defensive rebounder. Harris getting it done at the offensive end that time. Weisman the pass to Hughes. Now here's Kaminga. Guarded by Harris. It's three outside. Another three for Golden State. Riding the hot hand. And why not? If something's working, keep going to it. James dishes to Mitchell. Over Weisman. It's rebounded by Golden State. They've led by as many as 14 points. He kicks to Thompson. Some nice passing by Golden State. Pass to Hughes. Let's it go with the three. It's hauled in by Achua. Chance trailed by 11. James outside. Back to Achua. James looking around. And it's Mitchell missing. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. And it's good for two. Curry's got 31 points. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Mitchell finds a Jua. Back to Mitchell. And Wiseman sends it back. Thompson outside. At the top of the key, Curry, 11 feet away. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Moody's checked in for the Warriors. Jazz trail by 13. And he lobs it up, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Down low, and stolen by Achua. Trying to end the drought, but dunk by Achua. Because he attracts so much defensive attention, Donovan Mitchell often finds teammates all alone. Here's Curry. There's the drive. Utah with the rebound. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Now the pass to James. Hughes covering. Passes it to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. James outside. Three pointer. And that one is off. So Golden State will take it the other way. James against Curry on the wing, Hughes. Kicks to Curry. For the three. Deft touch on the alley -oop. Early eyes by Curry. Sees the play developing. Knows where he wants to go with the ball. James outside. The three. Warriors with the rebound. Weisman's got his 16th rebound on the night. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Here's Kaminga. It's hauled in by Harris. 
Harris has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. James outside. Now, here's Achua. Not a lot of room. It's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Harris, no good. Warriors leading by 13. Kaminga, the pass to Moody. Outside Curry. And it goes down two points. Curry's got 33. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around time out, time out. on that low block. Utah calls timeout. And if you need help spacing the floor, Moody's your guy. He's a nightmare to defend. An elite three-point shooter, you have to go out and guard him. But if you close out too hard, he can put the ball on the floor and take advantage of the driving lane. So pick your poison. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. Stephen Curry. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Evan. Well, during the last break, I heard Quinn Snyder talking with his team. He told them flat out, we are turning the ball over too much, guys. We can't keep making the hero ball play. Slow it down, run the offense, and make the safe pass. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And so it's Golden State with it, following Tobias Harris's three-point attempt. Pass to Moody. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by the Jazz. Achua's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Inside, Harris kicks to Green. Harris inside. Curry meets him. The Jazz with another miss. He had it rolling and then lost it for some reason. Let's see if he can get it back while it still matters. Kaminga the pass to Wiseman. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Curry's got 36. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Warriors. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all game. And I think ultimately that earned the W. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was. For Stephen Curry. Throughout the night, he was their catalyst at the offensive end. Play after play was run through him with great success. So Utah ends up going with the new group. 13 feet away. And the shot is long. Utah shooting 40% from the field. Here's Nance. It's hauled in by Bates Diop. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Rose. Personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Golden State. Kega, Bates, Diop at the line for two. Shooting two. And he makes the first. Good on both. And it's Utah's ball. Trailing by 17. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Clarkson. Deadman trying to break free. The shot, no good. The clock now can just run out for the Warriors. Here's Nix. So we 
see the Warriors taking the game here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thank you, Kevin. Steph, everyone knows you do a lot of different things for this team, but what would you say your primary focus is? I'm trying to just take uh, responsibility in my defensive uh, duties. She's the point guard, uh, force them in a different situation, difficult shots. Being our first you know, line of defense uh, as they're bringing the ball up, put pressure on them, and trying to take them out of their offense. That's a lot of great point guards in this league, so I got to be able to do that all year and uh, try to get a good start to that this season. That's what franchise players do, play at both ends. Thank you, Steph. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.